I was a professional gold digger and I didn't even know it. Here's how it happened. Growing up, my family wasn't rich. We weren't poor, but we were at the point where we just couldn't buy nice things. Throughout my childhood and adolescence, I never owned any luxurious items like necklaces or diamonds or crystals. The most expensive thing I owned was my phone. And technically, that wasn't even mine. It was a hand-me-down from my older brother. So you can see, I never really had a taste of luxury. So when my first boyfriend in eighth grade bought me a golden necklace for our one-month anniversary, I was ecstatic. I loved him so much more because of it. Finally, a piece of jewelry, something I actually owned. I was so happy, and he could probably tell, because the next day, he bought me another necklace. This one had little crystals all along it. He was quite rich, so he probably thought it was nothing. But I thought he was the best boyfriend in the world, and I wanted more and more of those jewelry pieces. The next week, we went to the mall, and we were passing by a jewelry store. I took my chance. I walked up to the display window and started to really stare at these earrings. They were gorgeous. My boyfriend came up and asked what I was looking at. I took a leap of faith and asked him if he could get me those earrings. He looked at the price tag. It was more expensive than his typical gifts. But I batted my eyelashes and smiled sweetly at him. And he relented. He bought me them. And I never felt more alive. I suppose looking back now, what I had done was not fair to my boyfriend. But at the time, I thought of it as a sort of a game. What would he buy for me? What could I do to make him buy even more expensive gifts? How could I manipulate him? And I guess it was at this point when I became a gold digger. And I didn't even know it. I broke up with that boyfriend a month later. He had refused to buy me this diamond necklace. And so I told him we were through. That was that. And then I was on the search for another boyfriend. A couple of boys asked me out in that time, but I could tell they weren't really that wealthy. How could they buy me any presents if they didn't have any money to buy them? I wouldn't waste my time with them. I found my next project. This was in the 10th grade, and he was a new kid who was absolutely loaded. I immediately started flirting around him, complimenting him, acting all nice, and it wasn't long before we started dating. Within a week, I had already managed to convince him to buy me a new pair of heels. And it went on like this for years. I would snag a boy, admire all the gifts he showered me in, then dump him if he couldn't continue giving gifts. Then on to the next one. When I left high school and began working, I started dating people, and they would give me jewelry, clothes, vacations. I loved all these presents. Sometimes I admit I wasn't overly fond of them as a person, but the gifts were so amazing. I just love them too much to part with them. And so I would have to sacrifice my disgust of some of these men for the beauty of these presents. Like this one time, there's this guy who always said the word Geronimo, like literally every minute of the day. I thought I was going to go insane from spending time with him, but he did buy some really nice presents. So I put up with it. I found myself dating richer and richer men each time. By the time I was 25, I had raked up an enormous list of rich ex-boyfriends. I found myself staying in relationships I knew I wasn't comfortable in just for presents. I know that's bad, but at the time, I was too infatuated with the presents. There was one boyfriend, Adam, who had a really hot temper. I admit I was scared of him sometimes, but he gave the best presents. Diamonds, expensive night outs, luxury trips. Adam and I went out to dinner one time and he screamed at the waitress for forgetting to put ice in our drinks. I was so embarrassed and I wished I could apologize to the waitress for his behavior, but I knew that would make Adam mad. People were staring at us. I wished Adam wouldn't be so hot tempered, but later that evening, he gave me a huge diamond necklace so I immediately forgave him. He must have cared about me if he gave me all those nice presents, right? But now I have a feeling he didn't. But then my patience and perseverance really was challenged when I finished work and walked home to find Adam kissing another woman. He was cheating on me. I was furious. I yelled and screamed at him, throwing all of his stupid gifts across the room, smashing glasses in my rage. He got mad too for my tantrum and said it was my fault. I couldn't believe him. At that moment, I couldn't believe I would date a guy like Adam. But then later that same night, I was in bed crying when he came in and said he was sorry, that he would never do it again. I told myself I wouldn't forgive him. But then he took something from his pocket and handed me a gorgeous diamond necklace. I couldn't help it. It was so beautiful. And as soon as my eyes landed on it, I just had to have it. So I told him I forgave him. 
even though in actual fact I hadn't, and I accepted the present. I know, I shouldn't have done that, but the person I was back then, I would do anything for a diamond. Anything. Adam and I continued dating, but then one day I stumbled upon a YouTube video on gold diggers. It was titled, How to Know if You Are Dating a Gold Digger. I don't know why I started watching it, but I was intrigued, so I clicked on it. And I was shocked to find I possessed all the same qualities as these girls they called gold diggers. I wasn't a gold digger, though. I, I wouldn't do that, right? But then I realized I was doing all the same things. I was accepting gifts. I didn't love Adam, but I stayed anyway. I let him buy everything, pay for dinners, pay for trips. I also dressed up to please him. I was wary of any other girls seeking him because of his wealth. I was always anxious to marry to ensure he didn't leave me. Was I really a gold digger? My friends used to joke that I was, but was this true? I couldn't be. But as I sat in my bedroom looking around at all the presents in my possession, presents from all of my ex-boyfriends, and many more from Adam, I realized I was kidding myself. Of course, I was a gold digger. The question was, what would I do about it? I decided to push the thought away. As it so happened, the day I watched that YouTube video was the day of my birthday party. Adam was organizing it for that night, and I posted on my social media all about it. I wanted it to be the best birthday party ever. I told everyone and anyone to come whenever they wanted and to bring however many people they wanted. We were going to have the time of our lives. Well, that's what I thought. I was at the party wearing this silky green dress Adam had bought me, and I was getting a drink at the bar. So far, tons of people had come, all of them with a present in hand for me. I was so happy. It may have been the happiest I'd ever been. Everyone was giving me presents. As I looked at the table full of presents, towering high, I totally forgot about my worries of being a gold digger. But then I froze, because across the room, wearing a suit and tie, was my old boyfriend from high school. The one from 8th grade. Then I flicked my head and saw my other boyfriend from 10th grade. Then more and more from all my years leading up to now. It seemed like all of my exes had come to my birthday party. I freaked. They were going to ruin the night. I was also scared of what Adam may do if he realized all of my exes were here. I turned around and cried out suddenly. They were all standing there, literally all 20 of them. W what are you doing here? I asked in a trembling voice. Here, my eighth grade boyfriend said, handing me a wrapped present. Then all of the other guys followed suit, and I had a humongous pile of presents beside me. I was so confused. What? My 10th grade boyfriend spoke up. Please come back to me. You deserve a guy like me. I was silent, lost for words. Then my other ex-boyfriend from last year spoke. No, you deserve me. I'll buy you all the gifts you want. Then another. No, date me. Look, look at my wallet. I'll give you all of this money. Their voices rose into a cacophony of shouts and arguments and claims. They all started almost a sort of bidding war, asking for my hand to slip on diamond bracelets and necklaces. They wanted to bribe my love. I was so overwhelmed and I couldn't believe it. All of my exes were fighting over me. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether I liked it or not. Then I spotted Adam. His face was red with anger. He stormed over, screaming at them to get out of here. He started shoving them around. And then there was a brawl, and all of a sudden, they were moving towards the table full of gifts. I screamed out to be careful, but it was too late. They all collapsed onto the pile of gifts, crushing them all, ruining all of my beautiful presents. I started crying, <laughs> sobbing with grief. My presents! Adam saw my tears and his face seemed to swell up with rage. She belongs to me, he screamed. Get out of here. The other guy seemed to take one look at his face, at his clenched fists, his bulging veins, and they left. Some of them managed to sneak me numbers on their way out, but the others just walked away. And I was left there with Adam and the rest of the party guests staring at me. I felt humiliated. I stood there and I told Adam I wanted to go. He took me home, told the other guests I wasn't feeling well, but to still enjoy the party, and I plopped onto the bed, utterly exhausted. I had so many conflicting thoughts in my head. So, this was what being a gold digger felt like. It was horrid. And then I thought about Adam. He had rescued me from the situation, but now I was at a crossroads. Should I stay with Adam and ignore my gold digger tendencies? Or should I break up with him and change my ways? I didn't know what to do, but as it turned out, Adam made the choice for me. 
Or he helped, at least. I was out to lunch with my friends, and I saw Adam with another woman, having lunch. I thought it was just one of his work colleagues, but then they held hands, and I knew he was cheating again. I decided then and there, I had to end this and move on with my life. I stormed over, screamed at him, broke up with him, and when he went chasing after me, I broke the necklace around my neck and threw it into a nearby pond. It felt so good. I knew this wasn't really me. I knew I wasn't a gold digger. I just got distracted by all the gifts. But once I educated myself, I made the change for the better. And I'm so glad I did.